parents could protect their pretty daughters from the sexual advances of white men. This was particularly true when the slaves, slaves belonged to a white bachelor or lived near white bachelors. Lucius Hulsey's white father, for instance, never married but instead chose successive lovers from among the female slaves on his plantation. That's pretty whack, isn't it? <laughs> like these, just the women have no agency or control over their own bodies. But some of the slave enslaved women, they did actually use that to their advantage as far as getting protection, as far as getting protection for their loved ones, things of that nature. Um, but yeah, uh, this book has definitely um, imbued me with a sense of pride, just knowing the stock I come from, the things that we've overcome as a people, but it definitely has come at a, at a cost psychologically. Um, one of the things I thought was interesting was just seeing how they lived in a controlled society. And I think that's kind of analogous with, uh, analogous with today as far as we do live in a controlled society. It's not slavery to, this, to that extreme, but you know, we have policemen. They're kind of like overseers. We have, uh, you know, we live in a controlled environment. Um, we definitely have more agency and more freedom, but I think psychologically, uh, it reverberates the same, just the same as the plantation. Um, but yeah, uh, this book has a whole chapter on rebellions, runaway slaves. Uh, matter, matter of fact, let me see. Well, I thought I just had it. Let's go to the index, please. Mac, come on. Let's see. Oh, the contents. Table of contents, my fault. Uh, chapter 4, Rebels and Runaways. Um, chapter 3, The Slave Family. Uh, chapter 5, Plantation Stereotypes and Roles. Chapter 6, um, Plantation Realities. Chapter 7, Slave Personality Types. Um, yeah, really good book. It does talk about how like a lot of, uh, you know, when you were enslaved, you were captured, and you may have been from... Nigeria, somebody else may have been from Ghana, someone, may have been, someone else may have been from uh, Senegal, but somehow um, they were able to amalgamate a new culture and communi communicate amongst each other. Um, but yeah, I can't say enough about this book. Get your hands on it. The Slave Community. Each one teach one. Thumbs up. Give me the likes. Signing out from the Dogon.